So I'm co-founder and CEO of FoodCloud, a social enterprise that's determined to tackle the daunting problem of food waste. Today, as a global community, we face a daunting challenge. With 7 billion people on our planet, we are currently consuming the equivalent of 1.6 planets every year. And yet, almost a billion people don't have enough to eat. <laughs> Food waste is a massive problem. And today, I'm not here to scare, but hopefully inspire. I want to share our story, one that will hopefully demonstrate that there is one problem we can all tackle together. And in doing so, create benefits for businesses, communities, and also our environment. It started in 2012 when I met co-founder of Food Cloud, Eva O'Brien, at an event about social enterprise. She introduced me to the problem of food waste. And I don't think I've gone a day without thinking about it since. 30% of food produced is lost or wasted across our global food system. That's 1.3 billion tons of food. According to the UN, that's actually four times the amount of food that we need to feed all of those who are malnourished. Even in Ireland, we're wasting a million tons of food annually, and one in eight people don't have enough to eat. I couldn't believe that all of this food was going to waste. I love food. Beyond the fact that it's delicious, it brings us together to share in some of life's best moments. At home, we were excited when we had a dinner that was a random mix of leftovers. Some of my best memories are in my grandmother's house, family coming together with food at the center. And just last weekend, 130,000 people across Ireland came together to share a meal through Street Feast. The food we're throwing away, it's not rotten, waste food. It's surplus, perfectly good food. And when you think of the tremendous effort that goes into growing, producing, storing, transporting this food, it should always feed people and never bins. Even had been working in London and had seen these grassroots organizations that had recognized the value of food waste, creating a benefit for businesses and society through redistributing surplus food. And we were both immediately committed to establishing a solution in Ireland. So we started off with a farmer's market. This is actually our first donation. It happened in June 2012. We connected a farmer's market to a local charity. And twice a week, they collected the food from this uh, farmer's market. And the impact was incredible. The producers and the sellers at the farmer's market were delighted to see their food enjoyed and not going in the bin. And the charity was receiving artisan breads, gourmet products that they never would have had the budget to purchase previously. We knew we wanted to scale this solution and create a self-sustaining model and have a real impact. So we began to look to technology to see how it could help us achieve this and also what kind of food business would help us grow? So after much trial and error, we developed a solution that would unlock the supply of fresh surplus food products available in supermarkets and make that food directly available for free to local charities. So essentially how it works, you're working in a supermarket and it's coming to the end of the day, maybe an hour or two before close, and you've got a shelf full of food that you know is perfectly good, but you won't sell this evening and you can't sell the next day. So instead of now paying to throw this food in the bin, you can put it into boxes, use our app to upload details of this food, and let a local charity know that the food is available for free. 
The charity collects the food from their local supermarket and everybody wins. The supermarket's no longer paying to throw away this perfectly good food that they didn't want to throw away to begin with. And the charity is benefiting from a fresh supply of surplus food products, enabling them to enhance their services and expand the work that they're doing. So we managed to establish a model that created shared value for all of those involved. And this is what enabled us to scale. It was just over three years ago that we had a 12-store trial in Dublin city centre with Tesco. We now have a national network of stores and charities, Tesco, Aldi, and now Little, donating across Ireland. We're working with Tesco in the UK and now Waitrose. Over 2,000 stores are donating across the UK and Ireland on a daily basis to 5,000 charities. And 15 million meals have been donated to date. In May, we reached a new very exciting milestone where over 1 million meals were donated through our platform in one month. And just last year, we launched our second service in Ireland. We now have three hubs across the country that can take larger quantities of surplus food that are available further up the food supply chain and redistribute that in smaller quantities to our network of charities. But many people think that donating food for businesses is just another CSR or a charity initiative. But I know from what we've seen so far that it is so much more than that. So we're now at the very initial stages of doing some uh, case study work with our founding partner, Tesco. And the results so far have been quite incredible. It turns out nobody likes wasting food. Every employee we've spoken to said that it's actually improved their day, that they enjoy handing over and sharing food with the charities in their local community. The impact has been quite incredible in terms of their day-to-day -day happiness in work. For, we spoke to some customers and they all immediately agreed that they'd prefer if their local supermarket was donating this food instead of it, disposing of it and said that they'd be more likely to shop in supermarkets that did this. But very few of them knew that Tesco was doing this at a local or a national level and very few of them had ever heard of Food Cloud. And then, for our charities, we're very lucky that we get to hear every day about the amazing work that they do in communities. And I'm going to share two stories today. Care Social Services um, are a fantastic organisation in Rohini in Dublin. They provide food in their local community through community kitchens, meals on wheels services. And they collect a lot of food from their local Tesco store, their local Aldi store, and now also through our hubs. They are saving an average of 3,000 euro a week because of this food. This has allowed them to serve an additional 100 people every week, to increase the amount of employment opportunities they can provide in their local community and expand their services. Daisy House is a women's refuge in Dublin. They provide housing and support for women who have come from difficult backgrounds. And the food for them has had a slightly different impact. Twice a week, they receive food into the house. And it gives the women a reason to come out of their rooms. The kitchen is now twice a week filled with laughter as they pick up the unusual random surplus food products that they receive and swap and share food and recipes. We are committed to creating a self-sustaining model. And unlike a lot of traditional CSOR charity initiatives that businesses engage in, we're creating true shared value. And this has allowed us to charge for the service we're providing for the retailers and cover our operating expenses. 
Creating shared value is the key to creating real change and creating sustainable um, businesses. And personally, it has changed my life, food waste. I haven't looked back <laughs> in five years since first hearing about it. One, I can't eat in a group of people without somebody staring at my plate wondering if I ever waste food. And then the other, I've gotten to meet some amazingly influential people and convince them that this is a problem worth solving. Our new Taoiseach, at the opening of our hubs last year. And Dave Lewis, Tesco's group CEO, the third largest retailer in the world, said that as we launched in the UK with our amazing partner Fairshare, that this is potentially the single biggest step they've ever taken to cut food waste. And at the beginning of this year, they have made the bold commitment to have no edible surplus food in their operations by the end of this year. Something that we are excited and proud to support them in achieving. But what's even more exciting is many organizations and businesses globally are starting to realize the value of food waste and take action. In 2015, 193 countries set 17 bold and ambitious sustainable development goals. Target 12.3, to have food waste per capita by 2030. Champions 12.3 is a coalition of governments, international organizations, businesses, farmer groups, all dedicated to inspiring ambition mobilizing action and increasing our ability to meet this ambitious goal. All EU member states have committed to meeting this goal too. And we now have an EU platform dedicated to reducing food waste, sharing best practice amongst member states, and tracking our progress to ensure that Europe meets this target. Even in Ireland, Minister Dennis Nocton has now set up a retail action group which is dedicated to creating a plan for Ireland to ensure that we meet this target. And there are many organisations starting up globally that are also tackling this problem. From toast ale, a beer made from surplus bread, to too good to go connecting you with discounted meals from your local restaurants in the evening, to Olio, enabling you to share food with your community. So the next time you're going on holidays and you've got a fridge full of food, share it with your neighbor. And if you've no food waste, have a toast. <laughs> so, for me, I've been thinking about this problem for quite a while. And it finally feels like the end of the beginning. This is a global movement that our planet and future generations desperately needs to happen. We are wasting 1.3 billion tons of food. And if we want to feed 9 billion people sustainably and equitably by 2050, we still have a lot of work to do. So please remember, the food we are throwing away isn't always waste, it's surplus. It's food that should feed people. It's food that binds us as local communities, as a global community. Join the movement, respect food, love food, and please, don't waste food. Share our vision for a world where no good food goes to waste. Thank you.